Here you can see the crowded and messy in-ear system case that I've been using within my band before lockdown came. I have a third IEM set that I was going to place in the case and I wanted to tidy it all up. So I got hold of a larger rolling rack case and rebuilt it and I thought it would be a good opportunity to show a slightly more budget in-ear system for those bands that cannot afford a Sennheiser IEM with X32 rack console. This system works well and uses the T-Bone IEM 100, which I've done a separate video of. The first job was to deconstruct the system. The main components are as follows. The larger rack case, three IEM sets, a Behringer XR18 wireless mixer, two eight-channel splitters, again from Behringer, these have a true output and a transformer linked output, and a power strip. The splitters would be where mics and instruments would be plugged into, and one side of the split, or one set of outputs, would be to a set of XLRs that can be plugged into the front of house mixer for the PA. The other side would be connected to 16 inputs of the XR18, which would allow us to mix our own mixes for the IEMs. The beauty of the wireless mixers like the X-Air series and X32 series, as well as other mixers from other companies, are that they will allow you to mix remotely on an iPad and even allow individual musicians to mix their own mix bus on a separate mix bus app. In the case of Behringer, this is the MXQ app. This means your mix will be reliable and protected. Reconstruction then occurs, splitters first, then the IEMs go in and then connection of the PA split to one of the splitter outputs. Next the splitter connections to the other splitter outputs which goes to the XR18. and next the XR18 itself. The output cables to the IEM sets, the AUX outs, the group of six sockets at the bottom being connected now, Ethernet cable to a wireless router for control by iPad, connection of the input cables from the split, power cables, the power strip, IEM aerial cables as spaced as possible. This is the finished rack case which was fully tested after reinstall.